you. Number two here is declaring God's word like ambassadors of holiness. Declaring God's word. You know, when the angels come, they come from heaven. If he sends them to Sodom and Gomorrah, they just declare the word of the Lord. If he sends them to Zechariah, they just declare the word of the Lord. If he sends them to Mary the Virgin, they just declare the word of God. They don't say, this is King Herod. I cannot deliver it like I ought to deliver it. They come like ambassadors of holiness and they declare the word of the Lord. And I pray that same power, that same courage, that same fortitude, the Lord will grant to you in Jesus' name. Acts of the Apostles, chapter 7, verse 53. Acts 7, verse 53. Who have received the law by the disposition of angels. By the disposition of angels. They receive the law. Whether they will keep it or not, the angel will not worry. That's, you know, between them and God. And the people were speaking to, and the people were preaching to, were not watching them. Are they happy with what I'm saying? Are they accepting what I'm saying? Are they going to do what I'm saying? No, no, that's between them and God. But to you, you come like the angels, like the ambassadors of holiness, and you say, Hear in the word of God. And when they hear, I pray the power in you, the courage in you that makes you to declare the word courageously. That same power, that same strength, that same grace will come to them. They too, they will do. Amen. You are doing not in your own strength. It's in the strength of the Lord. If you could obey the Lord in the strength of the Lord by the grace of God, that same grace God has given you, it will give to all your hearers. They will not throw the word of God away. You tell them, you show them, you declare to them like ambassadors of holiness, and that same holiness they will accept in Jesus' name. Hold on now. You know, sometimes there are people when they are in a particular congregation, let me make it a little bit personal. Here they are, they are in deeper life. And the end will give them a message to preach confidently, assuredly, powerfully. They declare the word of holiness. Teach, give them Sunday scripture, Sunday school. And give them a kind of message at the retreat. Give them a kind of message in the conference. Where deep and life is the organizer, they preach that holiness like nobody else. And now, maybe something happens, and they feel led to go and start a ministry. All right, no problem. And now you have a ministry, a church, an assembly, a fellowship. And now you are the all in all. You are the overseer. You are the founder. And you are the one that calls the short. And now you look at the congregation and you begin to preach. I hear you, some of them. And you cannot declare the word like you declared when you were in deeper life as ambassadors of holiness. If you are hearing me, come back. I don't mean come back to deeper life. That's just an organization. I said come back to your ambassadorial work and preach holiness like you used to do in the good old days. I lost my amen. amen. And if you are not in any way connected with that church they call deeper life, no problem. God accepts all of us. You are born again. You are a real child of God. And now you have come to this conference. And you have seen that what the Lord expects for us to do is that thy kingdom come. And thy will be done in earth as it is done in heaven. 
get to it and like ambassadors of holiness anywhere you go you'll preach salvation you'll preach transformation of life you'll preach the grace of god that comes into our lives and makes us the men the women we ought to be and then preach holiness follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall save the lord so that on that side in the west on that side in the east on that side in the north on that side in the south the word of holiness and the word of god everywhere in every country in every nation will be going on and when the lord shall come the people who have been transformed by grace they will get up and be caught up in the rapture i will be there you will be there, they will be there, all will be there, will be in heaven together in Jesus' name. That's a good amen, but I want to have a better amen. Yeah.